Hello, it's the FN Nerd Show, and today I wanted to talk about The Substance. I finally got to see The Substance. I've been seeing the ads for it for the longest time. It's like, ooh, don't you want to be the better version of yourself? The Substance. And then just, you know, Dennis Quaid just looking at you all close up. Uh, the Substance is about this woman, played by Demi Moore, who is an actress, who is up there, I, I don't even want to say, like, up there. She's, like, over 50, I guess. Uh, or over 40, at the very least. But I think she's over 50, and she is basically losing her job, and she's not getting other jobs, and she's, like, an actress, and so she needs help just trying to stay active in all this jazz. And then she gets, uh... She gets known that she could join this program called The Substance. Hey, they said the title. And basically, she has to just... It's complicated. I don't even want to spoil how weird this movie is. Uh, it's, but she basically gets a younger self. And her and her younger self can only be active one at a time. Uh, and for... You're not sure for the longest time whether or not they are the one entity or two and I think there is a part of it that maybe it's like maybe they are one uh I don't know one of the rules of the substance is remember you are one which would make me think well if that's what they're telling you then maybe that means they aren't one but just the way they both sort of interact with the world when they pop out of the other in a way makes me think they do share something but whatever this movie for the first hour or so doesn't have the most dialogue the most dialogue comes from Dennis Quaid uh and you really just sort of see the me more thinking about uh you know her situation and then thinking about the substance and then you just sort of see her process about should I do it or right, I'll do it Alright, after I do it, now, whatever. And then, you got Margaret Qualley, which is from, she's from a great show I love called The Leftovers, that I might have talked about very recently, who knows. And she plays the younger version, and she basically is like, every time she gets out uh, her younger self, she's like, look, I just need to stay out longer, because... I can do more by being out longer. And uh, basically, she has to sort of take out this goo from Demi Moore's body uh, to stay active longer. And every time she does that, a piece of Demi Moore gets severely deformed. And as you can imagine, shenanigans ensues. This, like, every time I thought the movie, like, there was early in the movie, I thought, man, this is taking a little long. And, but then there was a certain point in the middle of the movie, I was like, you can go longer. Uh, and there was a point when I thought it was going to be over, and I would have been fine with it being over. But then I said, hey, actually, we got like 30 more minutes. And I was like, okay, let me watch that 30 extra minutes. And it just goes nuts. It, like, anything you thought, made, like, if you hoped they wouldn't leave anything on the floor, not only do they not leave anything on the floor, they give you a little bit extra on top. And I always love it when a movie does that. Uh... The performances are great. Dennis Quaid really does steal the show. That effing weird Republican man, Dennis Quaid. Uh, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We could trash on Republican-y or, like, you know, right-wing actors. But here's... Uh, a lot of them don't act good anymore. <laughs> and so we hate them a little extra. Dennis Quaid... He's great in this movie. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I guess... We, you can have your politics effing just... Keep him acting, because he is definitely... He he is a fun guy in this movie. Uh, there's a lot of commentary, a lot, uh, in the movie about, like, how the world treats an aging woman versus how it treats an aging man. And there's a lot of nasty close-ups of Dennis Quaid just talking and eating. And they're really making sure you get to see all his, uh, like, his wrinkles, his gross mouth, his gross teeth, his gross everything. And then... They also compare with, like, Demi Moore. That's what I really love about this. So you, you get to see a lot of Demi Moore 
and Margaret Qualley naked in this movie. And while, yes, I am a man who loves a female form, and I do enjoy that, I also like sort of the compare and contrast about, like, all of these things. Like, we don't see any naked men in the movie, but we do get, like I was talking about, these extreme close-ups of Dennis Quaid, and him clothed... <laughs> in some angles, is grosser than the me more is unclothed, like, at all. And I just like that contrast. It's like, who is Dennis Quaid to have any control over the me more's career? You know what I mean? Like, if she's the prettier person and she's the one who's making the money, why is she not the one who gets to call those kinds of shots, in a way? Uh, and I also like how Margaret Qualley's situation isn't always that perfect either, because when she's at... When she's trying to do her job, something happens uh, one day for her that sort of messes with her image, and she really freaks out about it. Uh, I think there's something interesting in that as well. Like, anybody who is the It girl at that time is well aware of what might can happen if they just didn't keep up that image. It's very interesting. I, I, and I think the ending, what it does so well, is just sort of goes nuts with it. It literally takes, like, the worst case scenario of what you thought could happen, and it just goes nuts. Uh, so, like, the movie starts off, like, it's surreal for sure, but it's not like... It's not even that funny. Like, the things Dennis Quaid says are kind of funny, but it's not like, oh my god, that's hilarious. The last, like, act, I would say, does get kind of funny in a absurd, just ridiculous way. But I love sort of how it starts off, and then it just slowly kind of cranks up to that. And then all of a sudden you look around and you're like, what the fudge is going on? And you're there. It's like, it's very good. I really, I really enjoyed the substance. I really like how... Like, you chew on the, the commentary, but also, if you just want a fun, weird, sort of, like, black mirror to the extreme uh, thing, it's a really good movie to see. And especially great for spooky season. I love me a movie like this to watch during these spooky times, because it's, like, it's just just gross <laughs> in, the, in the best way. All right, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. See the substance. Goodbye!